Welcome to Halloween. It's Halloween time. We have 1980, Jeff Goldblum, James L. Conway. My name is Niall. Was his name Ed Wood or Ed Wynn? Ed Wynn. The guy who did the video. Ed Wynn is the guy who, uh, who did uh, the Mad Hatter. Oh my goodness! Okay, and Nymph? I mean, yeah. I was going to say, because there's a guy and named the <laughs> Mary Poppins movie. Right, what? Mary Poppins. Yeah, he, he put it on for Martin tonight, and it said Edwin. Yeah, Edwin. He he's in Mary Poppins, and he's he also uncle. Voiced, he is Uncle Uncle Fun or whatever. So we, this we're in Sleepy Hollow right now. This was aired in October thirty first, nineteen eighty. And stars our favorite Jeff Goldblum, man, Jeff Goldblum. Is that supposed to be him? Cause That's him. Why is can't he you tell? By overly excited dog. <laughs> they're not angry at all. They're so happy. I said overly excited. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> even even when oh. he's Jeff Goldblum, he's Jeff Goldblum. It's he can never not be Jeff Goldblum. It's beautiful. He's a character actor, but the character is himself. I was gonna say their necks are pretty long. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> So normally, you know, um, I wonder what year this is supposed to be because his hat could be from multiple time periods. The man with mustache. Yeah, it, it looks it looks 1600s, but I'm guessing we're supposed to be in 1700s. Right Nile, Nile, is this man from the movie Splice? Because he just said that he's half bear, two parts horse, and part wildcat. I think that explains itself, really. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're trying to watch this movie, don't. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be a new addition. Did in, you notice uh, that that guy stole? Richard Simmons' hair? I did, and he also has uh, Frodo's hair as well. This is supposed to, this Nymph's is here, a, by the way. Yes, Nymph is here. Say hi, Nymph. Hey. <laughs> this is going to be our second Niantai riff. This one, Niantai plus Nymph. And uh, normally we do a Halloween podcast, part one and two. And uh, this is that. Just tackled us this month. Oh my god, yeah. I haven't had any time to do any haunts or make any recordings or anything like that. We've barely done any horror games aside from uh, Resident Evil 7, which I hope you've been enjoying. It's one of my favorite series. And uh, I tried to throw Nile all the way to Canada so he could meet Nymph, and it just didn't It didn't work. He didn't have a good enough arm. He sank halfway across the Mississippi. Yeah, Nymph had to go swim out and save me. That's unrealistic. The Mississippi... Doesn't let things out. <laughs> <laughs> Did his hat change? Oh, it's a different person. So yeah, we're not gonna be. <laughs> we're not gonna be spending more attention to the hat than the man underneath it. <laughs> yeah, that's me. We're not gonna be spending too much time letting you guys hear the plot because it's Sleepy Hollow. You know the damn plot. You know the story. This is just. We're gonna watch Jeff Goldblum beat Jeff Goldblum. So, the young guy who looks like Ichabod Crane from the Disney animation from 1960s. Is Jeff Goldblum playing Ichabod Crane, but in a 1980s movie? And brilliant casting, I might add. And yes, Nymph, I have to agree that if you are born anywhere around North America, you know the story of Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> yeah, because everyone's heard of the headless horseman. Exactly. You can't reason with a headless man. New people. Or his horse, by that matter. Discovered wonders provide spice in a man. Discovered wonders, but you're a coward. You were running from a happy puppy. That puppy was actually the writer of Jurassic Park 2. He was a smart man for running. I thought it was a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Who says they can't be both? What movie did you say the dog wrote? Jurassic Park 2. I can see that. Nymph, have you ever seen any um, adaptations of Sleepy Hollow? Yep. Which ones? Oh, no. That's true, Not though. That's true. They call it when you get first get married. They call it like the uh, I don't know the something twenty. The what? No, wait. I'm thinking of college. The freshman fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't have a proper term for it when you get married, but it does happen too. When you die, I think they call it Pancake Tuesday. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Ash Wednesday. My bad. No, it's called anorexia. Because you don't eat. Sir, we Connecticut Yankees are born to ice and snow. Yankees are born ice and snow. Oh, he said a sentence that actually made sense. Never mind. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, it's surprising. Ladies but... and gentlemen, I recently discovered energy drinks. I've had two five-hour energies and a monster, but they were all quite a few hours apart. Jeff's a climbing little fellow. No wonder his daughter wanted to go into gymnastics in Lost World. I want my Look at him go! When, it got, when it's got snow on it. I don't have a house, so it's not going to look like that when it's got snow on it. It's the Headless Garageman! Oh, it's actually, it's Santa. Never mind. No, it's the decapitated sled driver. As there opposed to the Headless Horse. There you go. Decapitated sled driver. He's my favorite. Oh, it's Mrs. Claus. My bad. Is that him? Just put the things on his head, Miss Katrina. <laughs> Don't you be looking at Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> she looked like she was going to start walking a lunch back for no reason other than to be creepy. <laughs> so is this a movie or an episode of Little House on the Prairie? Both. He's on a crowd. I'm, uh, oh, wait, uh, I'm, uh, room. Jack, uh, um, Sparrow, um. I'm attempting to walk down the roof. William Shatner was my acting coach. I think if I went, oh, oh, no, oh, 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 yeah, and you killed her. Murder. Credits. Oh, she could have broken her spine. <laughs> Let's laugh about it. Let me help you. Usually, when my snow falls off of my. I've never been buried in snow like that, especially obviously fake snow like that. But ooh, I want to slap him. Oh, that's a slap in the face. But if if you put your head in the snow, do you get a brain freeze? I don't know. Do you? Do you usually put your head in the snow without wearing a snow cap first? Now. I've never been in the snow. Me. What? That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Wait, what? I've never been in real snow. What? Long, like, like, snow that was like thicker than foot length, at, at least. Oh. I think I've been in two foot, two and a half foot, maybe. So your first assignment will be to read pages one through twenty. Now my job is to help with your education, but you have to help too by Now put away your smartphones. Timmy, put down the tablet. Do that. If you don't do that, the only one that gets penalized is you. What year is this movie supposed to be? Uh like set in because um, it's George Washington behind him and I thought this was supposed to be the early 1700s. Um probably early 1800s maybe? Your owl. Oh, he's so cute. God. He just called the owl a buffalo. That is a buffalo, and they both live about six and a half books long. <laughs> we were in a thing. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's horrible. Um, <laughs> we were at a Barnes and Noble, and they had this really, really, really uh, excessive owl puppet there. That like the head turned 180 degrees, and the, both the eyes blinked if you uh, hit the right parts on. Oh the shit! Yeah. Kid's head's broken. Oh wait. <laughs> the owl. The owl was like, I've had enough of this ghost talk. He's gonna open the door and tell him he's a wizard. He's got the letter to Hogwarts right there in his hand. You're a lizard, Harry. I mean, I, I legitimately did not mean to say lizard there, but I'm proud of myself, anyways. Next time I go to the zoo and I go into the reptile house, I'm gonna spend the whole time just saying, "You're a lizard, Harry. You're a lizard." Sure. Should I kick this man out? He's been here three days. No, 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 no. The kids like him. <laughs> He's on to something. Some work you need in here? Mr. Van Time we thought they were skinks and geckos and I'm going to have to lizards. insist that you tell the children that your stories are nothing but fairy tales. You're All scared of owls, but you've got a bucket of feathers behind you. Oh you told me you got them. That was the truth they told you about them Indian spirits. Mr. Vanderhoof, Indian ghosts? Headless horsemen? They're called I indigenous, know. thank you. Don't you ever go laughing at the headless horseman? <laughs> do you expect not needed, Owl? I may not owl. believe in the headless horseman, but I do believe in Indian? headless Norseman. This is the sassiest owl I've ever seen. I love him. He's my favorite. He also nodded at it. The old man. All right. Um, in a more practical matter, Mr. Vanderhoof, is there anything you can do about this awful smell of garlic here? From the devil's bag. So, oh, but the door mm. there. Mm. 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 Reasonable. Well, Reasonable. don't. Well, don't do that. 
And great. Every kid just failed because bloodsuckers are going to come in and rip their brains out. Thank you. He didn't take it out of the building. He just it took it down. It needs to be hanged at a 45 degree angle, upside down, backwards on a Tuesday afternoon. It's the only way it works. The summer solstice has to hit it from the proper app. OG. And now the fireplace threw up on you. That's what happened. See, Nymph taught me this last like, week. I feel like you're farther behind us because that happened a couple seconds. Pause for two seconds. Nice <laughs> talking. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh, 1032. That's a nice coat. Five, six. Yes? No? Yes. Okay. 40, 41, 42, 43. Okay, we're good. Um, sorry about that, guys. Welcome to making. Um, Welcome. There's a bottle behind him. They should both drink it. It's probably filled with more. Okay, so I can't help but look at the the, the wood cabin wait, and wait, the. Wait, 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 Nile. Mm -hmm. You look closely. The bottle says talent on it. Jeff Goldblum never even took a sip. Ne never even a sip. Never even a sip. <laughs> We'll see how he does in Ragnarok. I actually been I, I'm actually falling in love with Goldman's performance recently. Like we've talked a lot of shit on him on the channel, but then I started I like He's watching got about it. as much acting as Johnny Depp before he died Whoa! in his first movie. You, you know, he's just kind of generic teenager until he dies. Ah, okay, you're talking about Elm Street Depp. Okay, yes. we almost we almost do. You almost saw the end of Tyrus Nail, ladies and gentlemen. I said first you movie. Know, Rest assured, everyone here agrees that Johnny Depp is the greatest thing that ever walked this earth. Or worse. I don't know. I didn't sleep with a cardboard cut out of the man. No, no need to be jealous. <laughs> I had a mannequin instead. The school teacher doesn't know what R.I.P. means. I just as well have. <laughs> Read in porta potties. Well, okay, get to building them. Halfway across the country. Brown bones assaulted the schoolmaster just for looking at Miss Van Tassel. Assaulted, a pepper, and I roasted him too. What? Just for reading poetry. Did you roast a man? That man got him. He, he said he assaulted, a peppered, and a roasted him too. I think the movie should be on this cannibal with a nice hat. Nah, uh, it's a rather white inferno, if you know what I'm saying. It really is. He's old and Caucasian. <laughs> Come away with those ridiculous, ridiculous scare stories of yours. Come God, away. Seems a shame. You fellas, with all your book learning, always all you book on, learning. Common horse oh, bother all that, Mr. Fritz Vanderhoof. What happened to my predecessor, Winthrop Palmer? I told you, we seasoned him and cooked him for dinner. <laughs> Did you enjoy breakfast this morning, Mr. Goblin? Looked over his shoulder one dark Mr. Goblin. Mr. Goblin. Mr. Goblin. Coming after him. Galloped his horse straight away over the Palisades and right down into the Hudson River. Fred Dutcher saw it firsthand. Bad currents in the Hudson hereabouts. Old Palmer never had a chance. What was that cable? I know. I, I I thought I thought it was a miss. I, I I thought it was my my cable too. Did did someone just drop a cable? Oh yeah. On set. <laughs> right past his face. No. You do a slow mo replay of the cable. Yes. With eerie music. Normally I would say no, but this is worth it. Thank you. It's one of the scariest thing. Poor editing. See, he's so poor because he spends all his money on human cooking technology that hasn't even been invented yet. Look at his carriage. He named the horse Minerva. Horse is his how best he friend. How is he educated enough to know the name, the Roman name for Athena? Nah, and of wisdom. We don't. Yeah. We don't need all them all book the learning. He didn't know. We don't need all them book learning. Come here, meet my my lizard, Pythias. <laughs> And this is my horseshoe, Hephaestus. Also known as Vulcan. My left foot, Ultron. <laughs> That's comic book learning, sir. Hey, they're gonna be considered Greek gods in like 200 years. Oh, it's me again! 
Say what? I brought some assault and a pepper for you. You didn't say it? I brought some assault. Get him! Just a bob. You forgot to ask about the upper paprika! The upper paprika. A little bit of paprika. Sorry, wait, this is the paprika! This little girl, her name's Paprika, she's got red hair. Just my imagination. Sure. Running away with me! Did he say speeder, Spitterman's head? Like, Danny, Dan Avidan's nephew calls him Spitterman? Yes. Spitterman's head. Mmm! A roast turkey. Made from the last men who crossed him. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> pretty good too. Bam 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 look at the uh look at the a uh, time. I got to get going. Have you guys ever seen the musical 1776, the uh, the, the movie version? And you can call me Yes. Film. No. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I watched that in school. It was amazing. There so you good. See, I I think that's the proper way for us to teach an inf about how America was founded. I think she knows. <laughs> and yet, fair, fair to estimate. And yet, and yet, Mr. Feeney singing is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, like, bopped one of them and they both fell over. And she's strong, too, huh? She's strong. Like these weak, twittery little ones you see all around these days, huh? Twittery. <laughs> twittery! <laughs> This movie's ahead of its time! Probably over its budget, too, if you look at it by this point. Wait. That turkey cost a bundle. His arm's gone. Take your clothes off this minute. I'm sorry. You wouldn't be coming apart at the seams if you was a married man. What is with these people in marriage? A dump? Heat Excuse me, ma'am, I appreciate the offer, but your man just told me he ate I think a that's man. Her father. Dumpkey don't need it. Besides, it's a good sign. Like she's already thinking of you in Dumpkey's place, eh? I hope so. Hey, he's Canadian. Very kind. <laughs> All right. Okay. You're very kind. I explained to snow. Because it's the only place that snows. Oh. Now he looks more like a bod crane. The, the, the coat. That man smiling at him in the window. That's, That's right, how boy. I smile. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that face. Same. Fa I make the same face at Nile every night. But I stand in the same place it, too. So. I stand in the same place too, outside his window. What kind of a face did you While he sleeps. A man's face. It was big, heavy. Uh, had a the man or the face? Wow, folks, that was a record-long Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That was one for the ages. Bravo, sir. Bravo. If we could make outtakes using the actual footage they used for the movie. I knew something like this would happen if you burned that devil bag. All that stuff what, what? about bags and spells and ghosts. You roasted the devil's testicles on day two of moving in? What the fuck, Jeff Goldblum? Full of ghosts, but he wouldn't listen. Ghosts. He was just like all the others. And now the schoolmaster Palmer has come back. Like we have. <laughs> Did you see the girl? She's like, he's crazy. She's like, Is he done talking yet? I want to say my line. I've heard little else since my arrival. She started to say her line like six times. She's like, I want to go home. <laughs> Are there any more donuts left? <laughs> She's running. She's running for the craft table. <laughs> Just don't let the tour guides in. Only good for ordinary ghosts. Not nearly what? as strong as a devil bag. But I'd feel a lot better if you were carrying it with you tonight. Is it a rabbit's foot? Turkey foot. Oh man, that is one of the creepiest goblin faces I've ever seen. He was saying, uh, in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Fight his life. So, my two year old's adorable. If you show him a picture of the moon without any stars near it, he calls it the sun. Oh god, it's Blackbeard! 
Thank you. Run! <laughs> Thank you, jolly bearded man. Everyone's gonna be mad! They need to make animatronics of that man. His it's laugh. waterfall. His beard is just amazing. Yes! Oh, that one. Like, he'd be great. Does he live in the schoolhouse? He's the schoolmaster, so probably. Is that how it worked back then? Nymph. It's entirely possible. What are you trying to say? Oh! Please. There we go! Time and gentlemen, for some... The gift that keeps on giving. This was recorded on live television. I'm so happy about this. This was a surprise. The surprise inside. Reach in, you get some old No, Ma! I'm only 42! I'm Deborah Lee. Ooh, I like her hair. I've seen this movie. She's gonna die first. You're a stranger! <laughs> Two scoops! Every box. <laughs> oh, look at my son entrapping women with cereal. <laughs> oh, oh, this is. Oh! It's. Please. Vincent Price! It's Vincent Price playing Tic Tac Toe! It's quite deadly. To win, you eliminate your opponents like this. This is the best damn thing I've ever seen. Please! Please, Vincent! Vincent, don't go! Don't go, Vincent, please! Oh, God, you're not Vincent Price. <laughs> they invested thousands in a commercial for corn oil! You need it! How else are you going to get your corn oil it's sold? It's such a specific product. It's so specific uses. Looks like a delicious bottle of water. We know those things now. No leading oil tastes lighter. I drink that. <laughs> no leading oil tastes like a lighter. Here's your answer. Golden corn. It, it looks like corn. I gotta give him that. It looks like corn. Oh, yeah, we're on yeah, a mountain. No. <laughs> Clean. Listen to the John Williams-esque music. Oh, it's beautiful. Harrison Ford? Put it in your mouth and fly away. Hey, John, do you think we should have given him the safety strap? Yeah, he'll figure it out. Spearmint gum gives you wings. And then in 45 seconds, the flavor runs out and you plummet to your death. He can't come back down, Nile. He's, yeah, he's stuck up there. He's still up there today. He's just looking for a way to die now. Oh, damn, are we back to the movie? <laughs> oh. Fast forward to the next commercial. <laughs> so, I remember when TV Land first started. Whatever they were doing, the TV Land block. How much were tickets to go to TV Land back then? Mm, about sixty bucks a month or so. That's good. Um, whenever they were doing the block, they would do uh, like they'd call them like flashback commercials. And it was really fun seeing the commercials from like the sixties, late fifties. They had some seventies commercials eventually. It was really fun though. Hey kids, you got an aspirin? I got a splitting headache. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, can you insane. pretend like you care when you're you can ringing say I that could bell? Never get ahead in class. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love for him to lose his head and just show up the next day headless, just riding on the chalkboard that they somehow now have. Did you hear the scream? If that's... I did. Uh oh. Did you scream? I think the the main actress just realized her pivotal point in her career is us Don't watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to write thank you letters to everyone involved in the production. <laughs> no, I'll proceed to receive. Kid, you knew what you were doing. My mother Young told Corey me to Feldman's bring you gonna kick your ass. Coat. My mother told me to bring you this coat and to hold so it. So it's the it lady that that the old man's trying to set him up with is that kid's mother, or is it just another mother? I don't know. It's a brother from another Lady. mother or something. I don't think we've gotten to that point in movies yet, sir. You're supposed to pull when I push and push when I pull. I know, but the trouble is that you push twice as far as I pull, so that means I gotta do twice as much as you just to keep even with you. But who's on first? Here, drink some tea for our. Our... I'm gonna drink some tea while she spells. <laughs> Look at how happy- Oh, shake your head. Women can't do woodwork. She's too eager to do it. Yeah. Creepy. <laughs> men folks! Misery whip. 
level harness brown bone. Ooh. So much flirting. She's gonna start wearing pants. <laughs> You've been saying that for years, and there ain't none of us getting any younger. Besides, Katrina Van Tassel wouldn't know how to handle a big old bear of a man like you. Mm, she just called you a big hairy gay man. <laughs> <laughs> she got him all hot and bothered. And look what happened. See, women, here is the lesson. Don't flirt with men when they're sawing. Actually, do it. It's funny. It's funny watching us squirm. It is. We're quite interesting, hilarious creatures. We are. Very stupid. Guys always act so funny when I wink at them. I know, right? Every single time. <laughs> Oh shit, he's getting the Elvis in his shoes. Oh, this is the story of pre-Elvis. Elvis. It's the story of Elvis. It's Elvis. Oh, no. oh, now they're talking about Tyrus. I've seen a lot of big mooses that aren't near as smart as You guys. I almost like... forgot my lines there. Um, oh, they're in New York. What are you doing with donkey's clothes? I don't That's think moose live that far east, but I could I'm be wrong. Him up for the new schoolmaster. Poor fella ain't hardly got a handful of threads between him and all outdoors. And besides, our Thelma's caught his eye. He's sweet on you. Oh, Papa, that ain't true at all. Back but you were Katrina. Now I'm confused. Katrina Van what? No, no Katrina's, Katrina's the other one. One that fell underneath the feathers. Is that scary you mean the snow. My Katrina? Snope? I see that skinny Yankee. Anywhere's near my girl, I'll... I'll scrunch him up and eat him for breakfast. With some assault and some a pepper and some... <laughs> that's, that's cannibalism, sir. I'll get the liniment. <laughs> get the liniment! Go get it. That girl's my favorite character now. Do you know what a liniment, liniment is, Niall? Of course I do. Nymph, do you? I think Jeff Goldblum killed Nymph. Maybe might have put her to sleep. Thanks, Taylor Moore. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in Resident tough. Evil 6 Assist! Well, what are they up to? <laughs> Lintimate. A lintiment mint bleh, is basically just a medicinal. like. kind of like an ointment, that kind of stuff. Just, different somehow. I don't remember what the real difference is, but you, you rub it on stuff just like ointments. No, no, no. Okay, I gotta say this about the movie. They are being pretty faithful to the book. I'd like to All make... Of them? <laughs> we gotta burn the church! They got no. themselves a regular 1700s kissing orgy in there! You know who's gonna get a canker sore? <laughs> McKissy with both lips. John, John, <laughs> Jeff, 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 you're saying it wrong. It's beep, ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. Through your nose. Just say it. Aw. And I'll put your lips very forward. That's right. Now breathe in again. Are you trying to teach them how to talk? Camera's yellow now. Okay. <laughs> like the first girl it cut away to surprise me. Her eyes are just <laughs> big. Ah. He's not, she, she's Which not one of these are Katrina? I guess it's. I guess that one's Katrina because we got to her twice. I think it's supposed to be. Yep. Uh, Katrina making kissy faces. Here we go. Yeah. Fred, what's going on now? So you get a bunch of women together to summon a simple demon, and it gets misinterpreted as kissing. Come on. Happens more often than you think. <laughs> Tell me about it. There's a lot going on in there it's like that time right when my wife ordered those right. pants. I'll never forget that day. People thought I was wearing, trying to wear capris. You were, Tyrus. I know, what? but th not Is those. This a real story? Those were my wife's <laughs> pants. My capris came today later. <laughs> I just wanted to see how they'd look no, on me. Seriously, if this is a real story, I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever intentionally wore capris. I think I have unintentionally put on pants that I found that mixed in with my adult size pants we all when have. I was little. We all have been there. 
We have. Oh, well. I don't think Nick's been messing with my old wardrobe. <laughs> Ichabod's in love. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Stop spot. getting in love. Get out of love, Jeff. It's like Shakespeare in love, but no one asked for it. What are the What are the uh, commercials coming? I'm expecting a Pizza Hut commercial at some point. <laughs> You're really good at ringing that bell, sir. You know that 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 song, "Ring My Bell." Oh, uh, see, that's how you break your back, sir. Wow. Oh, look, he's Batman. Did you ever play the video game based on <coughs> Batman Begins? No, but I wanted to. It had a really interesting fear mechanic. That's before what the Arkham series did. That's what interested me when I read about that. Yeah, like you you had like a fear grenade. That at some point was interesting. How do you know if you're invested in your Sleepy Hollow movie? If you start talking about start talking Batman. about Batman. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always thought J J Jeff Goldblum would make a good penguin. I thought you were going to say Batman, and I now can't get the image out of my head of Batman being played by Jeff Goldblum. I think that would be great. Batman would be Ben Affleck, and Bruce Wayne would be Jeff Goldblum. Yes, please. <laughs> That other dope. Uh, Alfred. Uh, uh. Roll credits. Show me to my chest. It's random Transformers references. So I, I, yeah, we we love that quote so much. Um, for the viewers and for Nymph, I sent it. Tyrus a text the other night at like 3 o'clock in the morning and I was like, hey, hey Tyrus I know you're busy man, but I need you to do me a favor, I need you to uh, take I, this cube, I just need you to take that cube and shove it into my chest please just just shove it right in there can you do that for me? <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to sleep, I'm like, I know man, but just I really need you to do this for me right now <laughs> I see what you do when I'm not around <laughs> Oh, it's Chunky! This new Mexican style three bean vegetable on the one hand, soup, so one can eat it with a spoon. On the other hand, you can eat it with a spoon? Oh, and a fork. Oh, shit. So, is it a soup or is it a meal? Simplemente. Hey, we're going to the store. I don't know about what? you, but I, I think it's both. But I don't understand why he needs a fork. <laughs> He's trying to show chunky. that it's a thick soup. It's, it's, it was relatively new back then. Oh, look, it's Eileen Hawk. She owns, she owns homes. I like it. She likes it. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah, because they're moving. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> you ain't wearing any pantyhose. Yeah, they are. Log these commercials are, too. Compared to nowadays? You're lucky you have a commercial's like 20 seconds. They look like boxes of baking soda. I want one. Have. A box of baking soda or some pantyhose? I want that. <laughs> the child or the cornucopia? <laughs> the cornucopia. <laughs> the Holy giant shit, camera. The camera. We'd buy it. We had one. We had one when I was little. It's just me or the black kid turned into a different oh kid. Oh my god. No. Wow. That is 80s. His glasses. They're so good. Look how futuristic. It slides to the side before it takes the picture. Are we at Disneyland? I want that car more than I want a soul. Nymph, can you imagine me rolling up to your place, get, getting out, slicking back my non-existent hair? It's a Kit Kat! It's a Kit Kat! Nymph, I want you to pay close attention wait, wait. to this commercial. We have to hear the tagline. They didn't say give they me a break. They didn't say give me a break. That's really. I wonder when that started then. If this is before, or they were trying to do something different. I worked for this company. That's a turkey, Charles. You gotta help me. Oh shit. Places, and the rig, yep. He's headed for big trouble. Gentlemen, are you ready? A special 90-minute little house Monday. 
The show where so much happens, we can only afford 20 seconds of commercial. That's a fake egg. Start saving your cookware stamps today at Big Apple and Food Giant. <laughs> this is like drive by advertising. No, like, there's still, like, little, like, short, small chains where you can save stamps. You'll get, like, cookware and stuff. It's great. Grocery store chains. Oh, where are we now? It's a 7 Eleven commercial. Oh. 11 Alive. Oh, it must, must be the channel that it was reported on. That's what the flag looked like back in the 80s, folks. It was a different time back then. <laughs> Remember to watch on election night see how disappointed you had to be. <laughs> Don't see <say> election yet. <laughs> Can't they postpone it? Can't they just, I don't know. Go not. back! Just stay where you are, 80s! Don't leave! <laughs> Don't leave! There's something comforting about old, crappy TV quality before it was I, HD. I, in full disclosure, I've been really sick recently, and I still feel absolutely terrible right now, but this 80s programming has made me so happy. I, well, we, we had, you know, every, as everybody did to grow up in the 90s, we had lots of stuff recorded on TV, and I always loved watching the old thing. Because of what all is the commercials on there. I was a kid. It's a unicorn. Aren't you a little old to be running around graveyards dressed like an Indian? Pretty smart, ain't you? Oh, First the now this. my God. Maybe I can't get you to believe in ghosts, but you got to stop telling the joke. Oh, I thought he was a firefighter. My duty is to teach the truth. Uh, don't think that was him at this point. Is he wearing a Hudson's Bay coat? He is. This man is wearing the indigenous version of blackface, and everyone's okay with it. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't stay in the 80s. Maybe we should go forward just a little bit, but then stay there. It's Artemis! I mean Artemis. Oh my god. I meant to say Hedwig. Look what you've done to me, Nymph. Don't do anything. Bird! It's a different bird than the one that was in it when the children were in it. That one was wider than this one is. You know what? That's true. Maybe it's the brother. Or maybe the other one crossed him in a wrong way, so this bird assaulted him, a peppered him, and a no, cooked he him. A peppered, he a peppered this the the white bird, and now it's brown. Uh oh. Ah, the headless Fritz, you crazy old man, yeah, I'm sorry. I was just, uh, I was enthralled by that performance. Well, I just, I just, I just noticed that the recording that we're listening to, uh-huh, um, just went mono. Like, I can only hear... The on the right side? Audio. On the right side, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. well, thankfully, you, thankfully the volume's pretty that. low. You can fix that, at least for the uh, watchers. I will try my best. And I love how I you hear... couldn't bring yourself to say fans. <laughs> Viewers is what I was looking for. Cause, just because it, I, I thought, because recently I saw, found that some of the uh, coding of my headphones wire was uh, cracking, and I started to think, oh no, the, the, my left side of my headphones going out, but I can still hear you there. <laughs> so. Oh is that supposed to be her dad? I mean, he really wants the daughter out of the house. Clearly. Eh, just she hop really on any guy as long as you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you, but when I wear a baby bonnet for 20 years, oh, it makes me feel unappreciated. But wait, he's giving uh, logs to the god of the, the, the cabin as offerings. Gavin. Oh man, that was painful. It's rough to watch, but hard to look away. It reminds me of Kramer. A little bit. No, no, come on, Jerry. You know I wouldn't steer you wrong. <laughs> like what if I ever steered you wrong, Jerry? <laughs> what Kramer is is uh, is Jimmy Cricket. 
No, hey, I'm talking about Pinoc Kramer from Seinfeld. I know. <laughs> hey, Pinocchio. Can't go to Pleasure Island, bro. I said Jerry. I said Jerry. The original Pinocchio, he killed Geppetto. In like the first act, too. And then at the end, he also killed Geppetto. And himself quite a few times. Pinocchio's dark, folks. But I'm still gonna put that old scare crane in its place one of these days. Yeah. The cemetery. <laughs> 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 Sounded like Mandark from Dexter. <laughs> you remember Mandark from Dexter? You can't do it. You can't do it. Rush for brush. Rush for brush. Rush for brush. Okay. It was like, <laughs> I can't. Oh, 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 oh. Mandark. Mandark Kazooie before Mandark Kazooie. <laughs> Thank you. Me that long to walk home and wash off the Indian paint. What's going on? Hi, golly. You did see it. I saw something. You saw it. Admit it. Think about Crane. You saw They're touching it. hats. Bud, Crane. They're one now. Bud, Crane. <laughs> they just need one more. They can film the Triforce. Film. <laughs> For the they Triforce. Can film the Triforce. <laughs> you threw triangle hats. Legend <laughs> has it, it. Legend has it that the the legendary Triforce cannot be caught on film unless three hats are joined together. <laughs> the three in the three tie corner hats. The hat of indifference. <laughs> the hat of confusion. And then the hat of swashbucklery. The hat of lethargy. Lethargy. <laughs> I was going because 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 Jack's pretty lazy. Yes, he is. I think the house has enough wood, guys. It's gonna stay up. Yeah, in recent news, the uh, wood market <laughs> is taking a, uh, sh a sharp, sharp increase in inflation as far as its prices. I think there's Everything a hidden, is useless. <laughs> I think there's a hidden plot here. I think that the students are actually getting turned into wood. You I notice that, that none of them are take... circles. Nile. Nile. Yes. I think they may have filmed... Multiple takes. Is it because every time they cut back to the wood, it's placed differently? <laughs> no. I just think they're slowly dying. <laughs> well, aren't we all, Tyrus? <laughs> no, but the lighting seems different. Like, the sun on his face here seems different than it was before. Yeah, here it looks like 6 o'clock p.m. Or soundstage with a picture on the background. Yeah, probably. I figure... But yeah, no, the sun's in a different place than it was. And there's not a single damn hidden Mickey in those logs. I mean, come on, guys. I have looked at every single log. Every single wooden student. So if you're going to actually use logs for, you know, like, heating, it's best to split them rather than keep them around because the bark takes a lot. So. Excuses, excuses. We'll give you chopped wood. I'm not even halfway through this movie. That makes me happy. What's a movie? We're just in Jeff Goldblum's dreams right now. While he's asleep. <laughs> Maybe hear him snore? Uh, um, he's uh, having a Tyrus and Nightmare. <laughs> he has a headache. He has a headache. He's got to wake up and take some Nymphquil. <laughs> it's a Tyrolinol. <laughs> And he needs it right well, now. What would what would Nyquil do for a headache? It'll put you to sleep so you don't gotta feel it. <laughs> so what do other ways to put yourself to sleep? <laughs> How about some melatonin? No, you just you get a bottle of Nyquil. You pour it in with some Mountain Dew. You shake it up real fast. Drink it upside down. Run a mile and go to bed. <laughs> no, run a mile. Don't wake back up. <laughs> You know, I, I'm a big fan of a Leave Me Alone. Can we uh, fund a program to teach this man how to close his mouth? I feel bad. He's probably dead by now. <laughs> he finish his sentences without pausing in the middle to smile. <laughs> I think hey. he's just happy to be on the movie. 
On to the Queen Anne's Revenge! Yeah! We'll get there by next winter. Do you like my log log? It holds logs. Uh, someone tried to make a reference to that at work the other day, and I was the only one that. Queen Anne's Revenge? Log. 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 Oh. Better than bad, it's good. <laughs> It rolls downstairs, you can stack it in pairs. Uh. So, something I noticed, I recently watched the Disney version of Sleepy Hollow, which in my opinion is my is my favorite. I love it so much. Well, it's the quintessential version for me, too, because it's, it's the one really that showed us in elementary school. Yeah. And, um... They never let us watch the Mr. Toad. Those heathens! Well, I think it was because we only had 30 minutes left in the day, and so they filled it with the Ichabod <laughs> part instead. Hmm, what should we show the kids? Happy-go-lucky adventure about a smiley happy frog? It or was them? Halloween. D they are oh. trying to show us something spooky. Oh, okay, fair enough. They'd, they'd, they'd read us the dang, um... What was the name of that series of books? Uh-oh, I got some fur on my throat. Things are catty in here. <laughs> what were those books? Do you remember the books now? They're like super... They were Wind super... in the Willows? No, it was like a series of like horror books for kids. Oh, scary stories like, to read in the dark or goosebumps? Yeah. No, scary stories to read in the bark. bark. In the bark. <laughs> in the tree, kids, one at a time. Here's your book. I was gonna go kill Bosby there, but I decided not. So I have two bits of Disney news for those who care, which obviously is everyone if you're watching this freaking channel. Excuse um, me, sir, it's called Dues now? <laughs> yeah, so two bits of Dues. Number one, we're getting a live-action animated... Uh, live-action animated... <laughs> a live-action adaptation of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride based no, on no. the attraction, which is based on the uh, animated short... Tyrus' based Nightmares. What? On the, which is based on the, the book <laughs> Wind in the Willows. And then, my favorite thing, they've already started filming, and I went nuts with this, Tim Burton's Dumbo. Now, let that sink in for a little bit. I did hear about that, yeah. That is beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm excited beautiful about choice. That. Oh, my God. Just think of what he's going to do with the circus scenes. That's going to be great. He doesn't necessarily have to make it super disturbing. Cause oh, yeah, he, he does. Make stuff other than that, though. I want Don't it to be. I want it to be disturbing. Yeah, go watch Dumbo. It's pretty... You know? It's sad, but it's not horrifically disturbing, and there's some racially in insensitive by today's standards stuff, but still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the crows, especially. Yeah. But it's still a very friendly movie, for the most part. I completely forgot where I was going. Um, by the way, I, I realized that Ichabod Crane in the original Disney film is kind of a dick. Yes, he's be as, as entirely true. Yeah, it's very very interesting why Disney was like, yeah, let's make the protagonist a jerk. And then they killed him, supposedly. There's that scene at the end where, like, some folks say that he married a very wealthy widow. And he eats all the time. And then when he looks at his hand, he says, what's the time. <laughs> it seemed like it would rhyme, and I went for it. <laughs> you had already said the same word. <laughs> you drop a beat, Nile. Drop a beat. <laughs> Please, no. I'm gonna lay down. My name is Shakespeare, I like to wear bonnets. Sometimes I go out and write songs. People always coming up to me and they say, Hey, you say you're here, why don't you go away? <laughs> Keep it going for me, Tyrus, yeah. come on. Hey, Keep hey it up. everybody, hey, hey, hey. Keep it going for me. Yeah, take over on the beat. Now it's your turn to beat. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. After the commercials. <laughs> Beauty. The Burger King chicken sandwich. Oh, it's the Burger King the Burger chicken, King sandwich. King chicken sandwich. sandwich. Look I, at it. I grew up with Nile, it was amazing. That's it not was. even chicken. That it is. was though, Nim, actually. <laughs> what it is now is not chicken. That lady looked like she was held up against her will. My horrifically picky older brother would eat that. He used to get those all the time. Make it special. My little goblins will be out long after hey, we're not mono anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to go with them. Because it's safe right Take now. Take these flashlights. 
Have fun. After just a few hours Beat of people. continuous use, <laughs> carbon batteries wear out. But you carbon can get five times more use from I'm so used to like lithium or nickel cadmium. Huh. That girl does not have a costume. What is she doing see, out of the see, house? did you see the disclaimer there? It said you should accompany your children without your <laughs> baby Halloween. <laughs> I think we're running out of gas. Oh, no. Congressman. It's not as if the Democrat Congress didn't have a warning. The last three presidents... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so political. The Democrats who have controlled Congress for 25 years... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, we're out of gas. <laughs> out of gas. Vote Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Every four years, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, we voted Republican want you to vote for the this year. I'm sure glad we'll never run out of gas hey, now. Hey, hey, I thought you died. <laughs> I saw you light on fire in the Wizard of Oz. Will you stop pouring your questionable white liquid onto my cereal? Quaker corn bran, the benefit of bran, the great taste of corn. Well, see you tomorrow. The fuck? Get out of my cabinet! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that was a real. It's Bob Hope! It's Bob Hope! <laughs> Vote for him! Vote for him right now! <laughs> Why not? He's a comedian, Niall. I know. <laughs> We're not in that much trouble! <laughs> Finding that special. <laughs> yes, we have to watch it. <laughs> and Tyrus with the beat, go. Uh. Where's the owl? Looking for the owl. Gotta dry off and get me a towel. I'm a school teacher. Education. Gonna go out, get the nation. nation. Talking about this whole horselin. Horselin. I meant horsemen. He rides around. He got no head. Gonna chop me off. I'm gonna go to bed. Dream about Halloween. That's why I'm gonna make a scene. <sighs> now it's Nim's turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's a dead pirate! The bird killed him. I, sir, am the late and apparently unlamented Winthrop Palmer. Cool. Get out of my house. You're not dead? The bird's like, well. Nymph, if you want to rap, we can, we can, we can, we can do a beat for you if you'd like. Well, okay. I would have loved it if he, if it had cut away, cut back to oh Jeff God, he's and had to a fake some... beard. <laughs> <laughs> look at me, look upon yourself. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That's how I burned. I was like, I'm getting the hell out of here. Nope, I'm just gonna watch from above. I'm getting up. Darius, would you say that it's getting hot in here and we should take off all our clothes? <laughs> the house. The house. The house is on fire. It's on fire. We don't need no water. I we didn't start the fire. <laughs> and I didn't shoot the deputy. <laughs> We didn't start the fire. No, 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 no. You need to pop your eyes out of your skull next take. Pretty. The shepherdy. The shepherd ain't the deputy. You're my favorite deputy. Idiot. Jeff, you will be visited by three spirits. They're all you from future movies. First the fly, to remind you how good you can be. Then Lost World, so we can all cry together. Then Ragnarok. After, after that, Independence Day. In the Resurrection. I never what I it called. The sequel, nobody asked for. <laughs> 
And then, Men in Black 3, just because! <laughs> yeah! And then, your starring magnum opus, Mordecai. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yo, guys, he's in the movie. It's set in Canada. <laughs> Tiny fat man. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, yeah, we lost you. We've lost Tyrus. Nymph, I need, I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga Hosers and the Tiny Fat Man. Oh, Yoga Hosers. <laughs> yes. The 7 Eleven. <laughs> That's what they did. <laughs> That's what they did. <laughs> this man's face is orange like the buns. Thanks <laughs> 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 to pretty bad lighting. And yay, we miss the logic of Tyrus Core. <laughs> What goes up has to go a different direction afterward. <laughs> Where is he going? He's a ghost. Why did you need to leave the door? He opened it, dude. He and he's riding off. <laughs> he's is drunk. The, is the horse dead? Did you see, did you see the horse sh sh sway? That it's horse. So uh, it's brought to you by Atlanta. Forty nine degrees. That's funny. That's really funny. The wood is just stocking up. His head in there. Is <laughs> it a wood family reunion? <laughs> oh, it's the ghost of Christmas Fly. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he was just turning it with his mind. I thought that candle was fake until it started dancing. That's a thick flame right there. I did a puzzle with a flame. Ooh. That's a weird way to read with your hands just droop. Here's now it's black. It was white, and then it went brown. Now that's a black owl. No, it's just a shadow on it, buddy. No, that owl is the embodiment of all the children who have died in the past 4,000 years. Okay. And it's angry right now. There's been an outbreak of a new strain of the bubonic plague somewhere in Africa. Oh, Not like... I don't think it's like... You know... Oh my god, like, the owl is psychic. Yeah. And a dick. Good job. Good job, <laughs> Jeff. Chief, did you let the bird into your house? Where did all these people get these houses? Carrie was weird the first adaptation. That bird is surprisingly patient. I mean, they lifted up the table and it didn't jump away until, you know, moments later. I just realized the twist to Harry Potter. None of the kids were magic. It was all the owls. That they all the owls are all dead by the time the seventh the movie even starts. Yeah, just one of them. Do you see any other owls after that? In the shadows, you just gotta look. Oh, oh, that's no, a string. Nothing. That's a string. Nile. Nile. There's nothing in the shadows except for hedgehogs. Maria, I'll be here all week. So we're gonna warn you guys. There's a game out there called Comedy Night. No, oh, Lord. Nile and I are gonna uh, practice our stand-up routines. Yes, we are. It's going to be terrible. We're gonna stream it. Highlights might end up on here. If you want to see me try my hand at stand-up comedy, go to youtubecom naofilms and subscribe. Hit that bell button because in like a couple months I'll probably upload something. Maybe. Oh no. <laughs> Laura fell off her bike. She was on a bike? Yes. Gravity affects Laura? I thought yes. that was just a myth. <sighs> There's a two player Tomb Raider ish game. We got it. It's like top down. We got it. Yeah, Guardian we of Life thing. We got it. I like have all of the Tomb time. Raider games. It's just not a good one, is all. She is Lara Croft. For heaven's sakes, don't mention a word of this. People don't know that, though, because she wants to keep it. She's like Hannah Montana. No. Like, she likes to chill it out, take it slow, and then, uh, rock out the show. Oh, no. Actually, the more I think about it, I think I just had a nightmare. Why are you telling everyone that? Just a nightmare, you know. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's actually Tyrus, is Lara Croft. I thought it was Hannah Montana. Oh, we can't give away everything. Just noisy ghosts. Unlike Sonic, I don't jiggle. Well, don't tell them that I'm actually Sonic. Aw, oh, damn it! 
pour everything out. Let's you juice! I thought you were Bluckles. From the late Mr. Winthrop Paul. I thought you were Bluckles. Bluckles? I'm so sorry, I don't know. Yep. I'm not sure which. I'm the Chihuahua. Yep, she loves Chip. I showed her a picture of all the, the Sonic the characters, Chihuahua. and she was like, Who's the pink fluffy thing? I was like, That's Chip, you'll love him. He's Chip. He's the incarnation of the god that represents the Earth because they needed it for one game. Pretty much. I forgot that that was what he actually was. He knows how to make a damn good snow cone. I mean, ice cream cone. <laughs> ice cream cone. He put, like, chocolate on it. He never gets to eat it. He does it, like, piss me off. Guy. He's the fat guy in Lilo and Stitch with the pistachio ice cream. He's my he's a hero to us all. <laughs> he's a hero because he never manages to stay out even though he never wears clothes. And he never put on sunscreen. <laughs> ever. He's always making poor Palmer miserable. Yeah, but wait a minute, didn't, didn't Did he get a lot shorter or did Jeff Goldblum stand on something? Is it just me or have they not changed clothes once? Dude, is that earth still spinning? <laughs> Did he just say wall masters? Those things freaked me out in Legend of Zelda. Just a giant hand coming down. Just popping out of the wherever. worst. You're gonna hate that. Did you see? He paused and did the thing where he rotates his mouth. Oh, I know. Rotates his mouth across his tongue. I felt enough joy to last me four years because of that. Horseman, right down to the cape and the saber. Caber. Jeff, don't touch me. <laughs> Thelma is making you some new uh, devil bags to hang up. That is awesome. I know, right? How nice of her. Fritz, Fritz. I would have liked that hat too. Wait, what? Whatever he is. May be dangerous. Maybe you and I should try to find a way to tell the others. Oh no, that would be terrible. You don't want people. Did you, did you see his hand motion there? He's like, let me just move my hand. It looks like they're gonna kiss. No, 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 but, uh, but still, still, I... still, 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 still. How do we know they have to you guys. Already? Quit lying to yourselves, guys. Come on. No, don't leave him. Look at him once more. Oh, so Summer cool. couldn't be. Why not? The ghost was the one who chased old Palmer over the cliff and into the river. <laughs> and he couldn't swim <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Someone died. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't have, like, swimming lessons stuff as commonly <laughs> at all back then. Everyone was like Sonic. Once you're in the water. You, saw too, didn't you? you mean, unlike Knuckles, they chuckled? They chuckled so much. Why are you the bird here now? I thought we were in my house. Why where do I have the I? same painting in my house and... Where am I? Oh, here we go! Wait till you taste my Margie's dessert. Dessert? I didn't make dessert. Instead, I made some fun. Oh, it's fun! We're having fun for dinner! <laughs> I'll feed him that jello. I love the haircuts, though. Did you see the, like, the... Happy homemaker haircut? <laughs> I'm waiting for the scene the 80s where, all the, sweaters, where though. they're all the swimming in a pool of it. They were gonna kiss, but this just 90s, 80s. You an operator? Yes. If I get the chance to drink it. What the? Is that? Was that kid wearing a mask? Did he just steal something? Hold on. Hold on. Dial? It's not worth it. <laughs> Maxwell House. Store your change in it to save up for things. What are you doing? You smell good? No, it's just the chocolate chest pieces. <laughs> Close up toothpaste? Is it the fresh maker? It's toothpaste with real mouthwash to freshen your breath. Also, I'm calling the police. The restraining order wasn't good enough, I guess. Now this is a night. Why do you uh -huh. think fresh breath? Why do you think they call it close up? Oh god, I gotta go get some toothpaste. 
Look, I'm putting brown toothpaste on that. That's my toothpaste right there. I brush my teeth with that. Dip it in the caramel, just scrub. Uh, wow. My mouth hurts. Oh, no! What? <laughs> Did we combine with caramel and nougat, Nile? <laughs> I thought that's what happened when we combined, Nile. Get some... Candy still wins, as of 2017, by the way. Keep no, fighting, no, no, Granola. Nutri Valley bars were... I'm so happy you also call them Nutri Valley! I mean, obviously they're Nature Valley, but they're Nutri Valley, right? You always call them the that. Did we have the Vegetas? Message out. Hold on, hold on. Good evening. Her hair's talking. Oh. Oh, wow. Hey, guys, we're back. We just had a news update about Iran hostages, but we're drinking Lipton tea now. And it's over. And he's tasting. Oh, that's it's the Apple Dumpling Game! He bit my finger, Charlie! He bit my gun, Clyde. Right after the Apple Dumpling Gang. You have Hi, Tom face. Pollock. Are you related to Jackson Pollock? Probably. You gonna paint? You gonna paint on that wall behind you? Oh, dear. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. Get off the screen. I don't want to hear your He's safety rules. With someone you don't know. And never accept rides or money from a stranger. But tasty but hamburgers are okay. Now, do you hear what I'm saying? What? He sounds like the the nostalgia critic. Dude, don't you hear the nostalgia critic voice in him? Or your parents. Or the mailman, or the bus driver. Are you sure the nostalgia critic? Have any information on I remember it, so you don't have to. Oh my god. A little bit. I'm just saying, the nostalgia critic could do this voice. He could. Immediately. Let's hope he doesn't. He told us to call the police department. I don't remember why, so I think we should just do it. Oh, no. What was the first three numbers again? 618. Like the the city code for Atlanta. It's a Halloween. Do you remember all the numbers? Because I'm gonna call it right now. Report on that on you. Six three one three one. Gary, good job. You kidding me, Willis? Six one eight six three one. Don't you? No. Four one three one. It didn't have an area code. Tell me, there's no tooth fairy. Oh damn it. You probably don't believe in the tooth fairy, do you? You're dead. Those could bring me. Thanks, Cyrus. Thanks for keeping the up lifting and happy. Oh God, there's something under the table. There's something under the table. <laughs> Bottom of his costume. I don't think I believe in ghosts. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. But in case there's any around, I wouldn't want to get them upset. I'm with you. Better to play it safe, that's what I figure. Personally, I always carry a cross, a mezuzah, a rabbit's foot, and a Chuck Barris doll. No a zoo -zoo? expecting ghosts to come near me. Ooh, here comes you don't get a mezuzah? Hey, listen, if you get too scared, I got 12. I'll hold your hand. Thanks, I was too embarrassed. You made them for me. The uh -huh. of you made me all the zuzuzus to keep the ghosts out. And you bought him some zuzu pets to make up for the hamsters that he shoved under the counter. That was when I told her I was going to go back to your old basement. <laughs> to the real basement. So the one inside your mind. Now you stay out here and freeze to death, old Betsy. I'm going to go get a good night's sleep. That's a horse. Do you think horses see saddles as an accessory? Probably. Like, uh oh. Hmm. Tyrus's basement strikes again. Run! <laughs> I was gonna hold a séance in the basement of the house I no longer live in. Oh, trucker man! <laughs> you gotta buy. You gotta buy one of the little recorders from Target first. No, no, no. Take it with you. All three of us the need to be there. The only way you can channel him. The only way. If no, that... Tierra has to. Tierra has to channel him. She has to. She's the conduit. <laughs> she did it the first time. Uh, if that owl dies, I'm gonna cry. If it's not actually a stuffed owl, I'm gonna cry. What are you doing? Don't touch that owl. Poor decisions. Berchi. <gasps> oh no! Last time I checked, oh, it's, that was made of wood. It's, it's made of wood now. Does that count as dead? So I still feel like crying. What? Was he trying to light 
the you gotta nail it! You can't just stick it onto did the you, wall! Did you see him pull a cloth out of his pocket and just start waving it in front of himself? No, he's like, throwing out I the devil bags. A bag of garlic or something. Yeah, the devil bags. But at first it looked like he was like gonna like trying to start up a flashlight or something. I was like, you don't got any of that. You don't even got a kite with a key on. Oh, someone's here with buckles. nice shoes. There's a little Tim with him. Squire Van Tassel told me to bring it to you. It's called Treasure Island. Written by John Hancock. Fidel Castro. <laughs> Fidel Castro. <laughs> when he spent those years on Alcatraz. You remember? In the year 836. Do you remember the time traveling Alcatraz? Q QC. <laughs> Quasi. Quasi. Kodo. Quasi, <laughs> Quasi Komodo. It's a cat. <laughs> Go love it. Go love that cat. <laughs> the owl learned mimicry. It was super annoying. Even the voice? Even the voice. Get him, Gleckers. That was an X2 reference for those at home. Get him. Get him, Gleckers. Get him, Gleckers! <laughs> remember, remember, you guys, you gotta preface it saying X-Men, because there's also a series of games called, like, X and then X2 and X3. Oh shit, someone killed Blackbeard. He's still dead. Again. What? Oh, uh, we're not watching Nightmare on Elm Street now. You're safe at home. His eyes were the open. Horseman? Did you see him? Yes, I saw somebody. Somebody? What kind of somebody? Who? I don't know. It was from behind. He could have had really big shoulders or no head. I don't know. Ghost. Tell me what you saw. Could have been I'll both. What I think. It was the headless horseman. He tried to cut my head off with his big saber. I think what Carl saw. I like well, how the doctor's saw, moving his mouth. Oh. At the same time, the other guy's talk. You can tell he's really passionate about the role. He's memorized all their lines. Yeah, that's probably what he's doing. He's waiting for the point when he's supposed to talk. Uh huh. We have a man here in shock. There's a warning for me in the blackboard. Somebody tore the school apart. <laughs> I don't think that horseman has a head. <laughs> He was looking kind of rude with a shovel and a thing that rhymes with the word rude in the shape of a K on his back. Well, I think there's a picture of a fountain on the wall. I don't know I don't why know they would put sure, there but it all. looks like a bird. <laughs> Didn't make sense not to live right here. So I opened the cellar and I fell right down. Jeff go and hug him, he wants to be hugged, and he got the cool velour suit on your back. It's not much to do, so don't go. <laughs> Grab the candelabra just stay and home, just don't throw. go. <laughs> hey now, you're Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> it's a like gallo. <laughs> hey no, it's two in the morning. I don't have enough energy left. I'm drunk. It's 3 a.m. where Nymph is now. Two more verses and she's gonna leave. <laughs> uh, Smash Mouth. Canada's gift to the world. As, uh, along with uh, Michael J. Fox and uh, 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 Ryan Reynolds. I'm pretty sure that Smash Mouth is in Canada. It is. That was amazing. Papa has forbidden me to talk to you or to be any place where you are. Well, Pretty sure you're talking to him right now. But so is Nickelback. He thinks you're peculiar like the others. So that's it. Someone's been filling his head with stories about you. Katrina, I'm in love with you. And I'm not going to be kept away from you. Remember the two and a half scenes Every we shared together? They are glorious. Dude, dude, those braids are, like, indestructible. Like never once fallen Sander C. Whenever I get what my hair braided there? like that, What's going on? Papa, please, it always comes out. Oh, I understand. Who do I see like, I don't even there? make it into bed, but In clothes, like, I can't get that nice wavy look clothes. when I wake up, because it just Squire, sir, falls out as soon as I lay down, you know? Is, her night clothes shows less than her day clothes does. Nymph, nymph, nymph. How do you... 
how do you get Niles' hair so curly? I can't keep the curlers in at all. When I try it. Niles' hair? Yeah, now, so curly. Schoolmaster Crane, let's go to the school I think he lost it. My curling iron doesn't slide very far on ice. You stay the fuck away from my head with the curling iron tires. <laughs> I made a joke about the Olympic sport called curling. We slide a thing on the ice. Fix Washington. There you go. Now he's happy. I don't think it's called a Fix Washington. <laughs> so stupid, but it's perfect. <laughs> Why? I don't think it's called a Fix Washington. You're so matter of fact. That's why you. That's why we keep you around, Tars. That's, that's why, good. Because I here. didn't think I'd make it as a square. <laughs> should wrangle a triangle. <laughs> There's snow on the ground. <laughs> I'll keep an acute eye on that angle you're trying to believe it. Now don't get obtuse about this. <laughs> as long as you co-sign on my bill. It's hotter than hell, because I'm in a 90 degree corner right now. <laughs> hey look, we lost all our subscribers. It's <laughs> alright. <laughs> We're not allowed to talk to other people. We shouldn't be. We shouldn't be. Alive. Well. Able to talk. He <laughs> took down all the pillows in my cell and replaced them with soundproof. He's got a rifle now! Oh, that's straps for a horse. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Stress for a horse. <laughs> this is the first Sleepy Hollow adaptation I've seen where there's snow, and I just can't help but think I want the movie to end with Santa saving the day. <laughs> you think the horses got to use their payment that they got for this movie? Yeah, they probably glow. Or did they? <laughs> did they all waste it? Uh, hey. <sighs> I can't even think of a horse pun. I can't even. I can't even follow it. You sound a little bit hoarse, sir. Oh my god! How many times have I said married man? <laughs> it's a married. Yo ho, yo ho, a bachelor's. You stand in a room, talk to a bird. You sit around, you wait for love, and then you hit your head. Oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, dead man at your door. <laughs> you log onto a game and meet Tyrus, and then your life is done. <laughs> <laughs> never for, never forever to see another because Tyrus was there. <laughs> You oh, woke up oh, and oh, met oh. anyone. But Tyrus was the guy. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Uh, monk, monk Kellogg's. And that makes for a great company in the morning. Who the fuck puts strawberries in their cereal? Oh, that sounds good. Crisp bits of toasted rice <laughs> that they snap, crackle, pop. Bananas are good. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Great company in the morning. Kellogg's that is an appetizing sound right there. It's gonna be a great day. Isn't that the slogan for like three? Like television commercial? Yes. How about for a you I think so. How about your time? I try, sure. Why? Because I believe in it. Doing a commercial is a new experience, so I got my family to help. Okay, kids, it's let's go. Low my son tide. Jeff and nephew DJ are playing. He broke his leg. To help show how my tide but tide helped it. Couple Take cups of that. <laughs> now my mother-in-law is going to supervise because I'm testing against her favorite liquid. I got all this Pentagon uprage. We'll wash DJ socks in a liquid. And just blue striped socks and tie. My liquid didn't do too well. Why are we watching Jay's socks? socks? A lot cleaner. Guess you taught your mother in law How many dishwashing machines do you I have in your tide. laundry room? Really <laughs> Women trust Tide. It's the best detergent on American soil. <laughs> oh my god. Head and shoulders, so I read a story once about some guys. Knees and toes! <laughs> Some guys were in college, and they uh, decided, we're out of dishwashing liquid, so let's just put this laundry detergent in the dishwasher. Sound idea to me. 
They were shoveling you bubbles out for hours. You know what? I can't Why be the only- shampoo bottle look gone? like salad dressing? So kids can accidentally taste how delicious it is too and realize it has two purposes. Your hair's not great unless it's hidden badly great. Look, it's so good she took a sip and she's frozen forever. <laughs> She regained her movement ability. NBC Friday night at the movies returns following. That it actually is, is really Friday night tonight. Right actually, no, it's not Friday night. It's Saturday. Night. <laughs> it hasn't been Friday for 24. Hours. Uh, it's actually Sunday right now because it's. Pet. Did you see how much dandruff that that bird had? Oh my God! Back to Sleepy Hollow. Magic of Sleepy Hollow, but first let's drive a Ford Pinto. Oh hell yeah! Wait, these are Toyotas. I taught my truck how to drive a truck and shoot a shotgun at the same time. Toyota. Look how fucking square these cars are. Look at that, that look square the fuel economy, though. Can you see how good that fuel economy is, though? That that was 36 great. 36 miles per hour is pretty good. Okay. I don't even know what this is. Look how short those shorts are on that boy. Is this Tony the Tiger? It's so 80s. The colors, the slightly muted oranges and yellow. My brother had so many clothes that were that kind of colors from when he was little in the 80s. He did it! He saved the world! Long live 11 Octopus alive! Man. Octopus Man, put it down! <laughs> are you that crazy? boy grew up to be Octopus Man. Everyone's having a good seven. time except for Grumpy Man on the right. <clears throat> he's having the most fun. He's the one who's clairvoyant and can see all of us talking about the movie. You, you see, he's going to be the one who has the last laugh. Mm hmm. Because he carved those smiles in the other faces. Those who have the last laugh are the dumbest because they can't get the joke. Oh god, the house is on fire. <laughs> those men have very wavy hair and they're all orange. Oh, it's this scene! Oh no, the floor is glowing. We're finally here. <laughs> There's green. Where the hip hip band, a clippity clop. He's out looking for you a don't know copyright. Quite what color lights to use to emulate what fire casting light looks like? Keep going, you can do it. So, someone go grab that yellow banana jello. Just shove it up there. Go the wear it. Come on, I've always wanted to wear a dress. Don't question it. We make them a headless horseman, even though it's a female dress form. Paul, As opposed to a male dress form. In the 1700s. He said, kill me. I love how their kids actually look like them. That was actually pretty good casting right there. That chair looks comfortable. It does. Do you think they... they do you think they... Do you think they... Do you think they reimbursed it for its travel costs? Probably. I think it probably. Ooh, that's <laughs> it's a about nice. Twenty years newer than the set. A little bit. Why don't you just come right out and ask me to marry you? Probably not. Now, why do you want to go talking like that? Just about everybody in Sleepy Hollow knows that Brom is going to marry Katrina one of these days. Go stick your head in a punch bowl, Fred Dutcher. Up okay. The What's the Dutcher do? Now, Thelma, I am going to marry Katrina Van Tassel for true. Fact is, the swear for true. tonight. Don't believe everything you hear. Like my hair. You're going to marry me. You know that what? Pineapple behind okay. you, is you may be hair. right, but 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 have some dignity. If the man don't want you, that's his mistake. Don't worry, I got Ben Affleck's mustache on my face. So thing will be fun. I remember when Ben Affleck was a goose and he was voiced by Gilbert Gottfried. That was a good. Those were the good days. Is that Ben Affleck? Who's the guy who had the mustache? Punch him. Your laugh didn't really work, and you look like you've been in other stuff, but I don't think I ever care enough. That's how fires happen. It's also how little boys put on dresses, apparently. That's how I did it. I didn't need help. It never took two of me to put on a dress. Nope. Cloned myself for nothing. <laughs> I took a bath this month just to come to this party and now no one's dancing with me. Oh my god, it's a candle on a mannequin! I'll take care of this. 
Jeff is spooked. Johnny Depp would do much better role in Jeff Goldblum. Oh, that happened, and it was great. Unfortunately, neither of these boys learned how to get a haircut. <laughs> you sound so distraught over that. No. I'm distraught because the lights are yellow. And these people don't know what season it is. The entire building's got scurvy. <laughs> Your grandkid's getting my kid into trouble. Neither of you look like those are children of yours. They look like they would be grandkids for both of you. How you doing, Ben Affleck? Just the highlight of your career? Oh, film broke. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. The whole Who's Ben Affleck? Just He's a goose. Who's not Ben Affleck? That's Affleck. Who's the guy? Who am I trying to think of? He's not Ben Affleck, but he's got the mustache like that other guy. Come on now, help me. Um, Ben, um, um... Oh shit! I know Brown, bushy mustache like that. Yeah, he was in yeah, like yeah. action-ish things. Yeah, really Burt Reynolds. Not... I hope to make you my bride. Sure, we'll do it. Then. What a proposal! Would you please you know that my father said that you are a passably good school teacher, and may recommend you a permanent schoolmaster. I'll do anything. You're completely right. It is Burt Reynolds. Thank you. I believe this is my I appreciate dance, it. Katrina. I don't know. Did you put your name on the ethereal concept of dance? I didn't remember hearing the trucker mention you, sir. Nymph, can we go to a party like this? Sure. You gotta get some of them four on the floor beats. It's just gonna be <laughs> us in an empty room with a unibrile black beard staring at us. Oh god! That's how I start my food fights, is with a concussion. I'm gonna tear you apart. You gotta take that petticoat off first, sir. You understand how many you... years it took for my mama to knit this vest? I got no balance. Oh god, the turkey's dead! <laughs> she just broke her ass on some glass. Oh, the glass is fine. Okay. But what about the wine? No, don't ruin the cake! <laughs> I keep diving on the unsupported end of the table and things get flung in there every surprise. time. <laughs> oh, that's good. He got some funnel cake. He didn't like it, though. There's pie. That's probably why. Just put cake on her face. Ah, oh, so you come to my sleepy hollow, Batman. What you didn't know is that I had That's flying death. fish for dinner. <laughs> you are what you eat. Apparently I'm gonna drown in the air here. See, it's winter, but you just had a fall. <laughs> <laughs> My next one. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor recommended more cow. <laughs> I got a broken neck. That's the other sentence. I need to sleep now. <laughs> Nobody helped the guy up. The orange hair guy won't. He's fire. Have you heard his mixtape though? It's so lit. Dude, that vanilla ice mixtape. <laughs> so well with my carnation instant breakfast. Kellogg's. I would love it if this whole thing was a commercial for Kellogg's. Brought to you by General Kellogg's. Mill your way to combination. <laughs> I was hoping you would put mills in there somewhere. I did. I was proud of you. Not as proud as the Fresh Prince of Bel Air when he Why found out that he could breathe. Why are you disappointed him? He tripped on a table and then some asshat threw him out a window. Before Baltus comes back out. He said Balto's gonna show up. He's brought the cure. Oh my god, Balto's gonna save the day. <laughs> he brought the cure. Balto! Jane couldn't make it. Balto could, though. We're just gonna recycle the same disappointed face footage. He's oh, still dead, though. Blackbeard's mad. Blackbeard. Blackbeard. I need a cast list. 
um, obituary records for any of the members who've already died. I'm willing to bet good money as soon as the credits happen. I'm going to pass out because I am beyond exhausted, and it shows in my language of voice. Hello, beyond exhausted. I'm Diad. Just seems I've become overly enthusiastic. I'd so hope that everything would be ever so different. Help me, Jeff Goldblum. You're my only hope. You look so polished and. Hello, my only hope. I hope you got the message. That's that's actually my favorite compliment from women. When Nymph tells me I look polished, it's just it's great. Polished. Polished. Yep. Oh, I thought you just said look polish. No ED or nothing. Well, I get a floor polisher and then I turn it on and lay down and I let it just run over me. <laughs> it's not exactly an even no. even polish. You gotta do it a couple times. The batter. Exactly. Just don't like, start from the foot down. That's just don't look at my face. Don't look at my face until I've had my morning polish. <laughs> oh, don't even tell me about my mornings without my morning polish. Nobody polishes more than me in the morning. You know I'm having a good day when there's blood on the floor. Blood on the floor beats. Oh, hey, can you come on, can you oh, got, got some more good some floor buffer samples for us to throw in here. Well, got this mix. We gotta got to gotta get ready for away, away tonight's the the tonight's seat. set. Carry me to my poor bow where dreams of fair Katrina will form me. Castle Take those cotton balls out of your mouth. Yeah, I was stupid. about to say, did you just get back from the dentist, Jeff? <laughs> so bad. Yeah, is nodding. I think we we're getting. Dreams. I think we're getting to the heart of the story now. Nile, Nile, the horse answered our question from beyond the grave. He did. That thing's gonna fall on somebody. Jason's in there, watch out. No! <laughs> oh, I love you, brother. <laughs> oh, there he is! There he is! Creeper McSleeper. Oh. I'm gonna run that long neck, skinny Yankee teacher critter so far out of the He's a mortar. Wait, what? Come on. This is different. Oh shit! Well, that works on ghosts really well. I kind of wish that, that killed him, but no, nope. I don't think killed he's the ghost, ghost. I think. I think he survived and has been pretending to be dead or something. Why is he so happy after getting kicked out? Because the girl kissed him. He got a big yeah, or he got a knock on the head. But you know, whenever you get kissed by a pretty woman, you become legally drunk. This is the part I'm actually interested in. Someone put mashed potatoes all over the ground. Inconsiderate. He didn't even add water to the stupid potato flakes. Now don't worry about <laughs> The children are already upstairs asleep. <laughs> the kids are already asleep up the stairs. The kids are the stairs. Go to oh, sleep. Yeah. Up the sleep. The Up the sleep the ratio. Papa Wood. Simulation must continue. Careful, buddy. You're gonna set your hat on fire, and then that's the real tragedy of the story. Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. That's yeah. what I was trying to think of. Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. <laughs> Tom Selleck. I know exactly what you're saying now. <laughs> it's so out of context. If you, Jimmy. It's been so long. Jimmy. It's just because of that guy's wig. Jimmy. Made me think of Tom Selleck. And then I remembered the mustache. Jimmy is the only one I know for sure is going to watch this start to finish. So, Jimmy, comment and tell us how long it took us from the first time we talked about could be Burt Reynolds, and then when Tyrus <laughs> joyfully burst out Tom Selleck. Oh, nothing much, Reedy Squire. Just hanging about. And... <laughs> he made a joke. <laughs> I'm such a, a powerful ghost, spooky alive? goat. No, he's just a shitty ghost. Oh my god, it's McDonald's. Is he supposed to be a ghost? Is he pretending to be a ghost? Because usually, when I wrap ropes around ghosts, they don't stick around very well. McDonald's. The McGriddle won't be invented for another 20. But a hot cakes are better than most places ever. Make sure you get here before 7 a.m. or else you're going to have a heart attack. 
Thank you. Their pancakes were cardboard. Late night. Oh my god, we can save $10 on ColecoVisions! Look at those. And buy two packages of long lasting Rayovac alkaline batteries. Look at we'll that logo. Five dollars cash, plus five dollars in refund certificates. Look at those candy bars. On Rayovac alkaline batteries, a ten dollar savings. Get details at your local Kmart. And yeah, everything here is chocolate. Now. Big K. Joey called this morning. So how's jo Joey? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing? How do we call 2,000 miles? The kids are all right? Fine. Sally? Fine. The kids are fine. Sally's fine. So why did he call? I asked him that too. And why are you crying? Because Joyce is Because I cool. cried blood. Hold on. Because I love you, Mom. Aww, call your mom. Oh, it's a Southwestern, not Southwestern, but it's a bell. Thank you. We stop singing about chocolate kid. We're on in two. That's drunk driving. <laughs> it's the same guy that was in the commercial before with the Kellogg's. Hershey's. Raisin Bran, two scoops. Tastes like fireworks in your mouth. Hey, hey, add another two scoops to this fireworks. All right, look up. I'm throwing them. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for: the actual chase. Or the Oscar on, award up, ceremony. Come on, Gunpowder, come on. Can't wait to see who wins it for 1980. And the award doesn't go to... Whoa, whoa, Jeff whoa. Goldblum as Jeff Goldblum. Trying to have a date with a know. woman. I don't know. <laughs> that line read of whoa, 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 whoa. It was pretty great. Nile, someone tainted the potato oh, shit. buds. Oh shit, here we go. Did you here see? we go. Potato buds turned green. Ichabod should have Ichabod some life insurance. Ichabod Crane. Never ah, be the for same. Ichabod, for, for Ichabod. See, the Disney horse was loyal. This horse said fuck it. The doors? The doors. Eleven <laughs> alive! Eleven dead. Story at eleven. Tim <laughs> more at eleven! Wasn't the horse in the Disney movie just horse, horse, car put on two normal cars? No. They did that a lot, though. Mm-hmm. What was that? Must have been a dog. Gunfire! Gunfire! <laughs> Ran over someone. Probably dead. There you go, Horsey! Horse. Yay! I like it when horses have that little diamond shape on They look like Sailor Moon animals. Nymph, are there any Sailor horses? Pegasus. Is that the one Sailor Jerry rides? <laughs> yeah, along with Sailor Tom. <laughs> There's no solid Sailor Tom, Tyrus. Don't be ridiculous. There's only Sailor Jerry. <laughs> this should control the Sailor Tom. Get the reference? I did. Did you really though? Tom and Jerry. No. There's a song. There's a song called Mission Control to Major Tom. Is a mate astronaut. His name is Major Tom. It's. It's a song. Wait. Is this? Is this special gonna have a real headless horseman? Is it a TV special or a movie? It's a special. I wonder if they just use the same set they used for Little Home on the Park. Probably. <laughs> hey. Hey, here we go. Jump. You know. That's how you that's how you teach horses, you just yell at it. Jump! Denial. Mm-hmm. When, when, when can you smoke if you miss 420? You gotta wait a year. No. You just gotta wait until 422. 
You know why? Why? Because it's 422. <sighs> it was a pumpkin. He said, Jehoshaphat. You say that. If you say jumping, you gotta say Jehoshaphat. Oh, it's the real one. Yep. Yeah! <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the Nightmare Before Christmas video game that had nothing to do with the original movie except for the characters in it? Yeah, where and you had the, the uh... Had mo you had the, uh, the, the, the flubber? What? The flubber. Where you, the little green sticky thing, that was your weapon? It was great. Yeah, I love sort of that weird game. Whip thing, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, why didn't you remind me of that? We could have recorded that. Damn it. Now we got to wait a year. No. no Christmas. 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 Yes. Thank you, Tim Burton. And the guy who actually directed the movie that wasn't Tim Burton at all. Thank you, Leonard Nimoy. Thank you, Leonard Nimoy. My hat like is still Johnny luxurious! Depp. I like how Johnny Depp played the well in the Nightmare Before Christmas. He did a great job. You can almost not even know that it was him. He could play any role. Though though it did it did give it away that it was him when you vastly empty. <laughs> <laughs> in the scene whenever you can see me just jumping down the well happy. That's when you know that it was it was him. Yeah. Dial's always jumping in those those holes. I'm gonna be friends with Johnny Depp one day, and he's gonna discover this. Wait, no, he's not. I love that. Out of those two things, the 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 least plausible to me is that he will watch the videos. What are we gonna do? Let's go. He's like a T-Rex. Jeff Goldblum knows all about that. Going on here. You take all of me. I'll do it. Take on me. Evening, folks. Take me on. My horse. This is my horse. I'll be gone. Take on Bra. Now we know who the headless horseman is. And I would have gotten away with it too of you meddling kids and your stupid moose. And this damn Tom Selleck fan club mustache. Tom Selleck. Oh, I sure hope he doesn't find out about this. I surely do wish it. Well, he's gone, huh? So is everybody else in Sleepy Hollow. You won't be able to show your big Sleepy Holler. Hair, believe me. Now, Papa, let's not be too hasty. Hasty? But this is a way that nobody has to know about the trick that Brahm's been playing. I'll do anything. anything. Look, lady, you, I know... I know that you have the hots for this guy, but he literally Papa, killed someone. Papa, if you keep going long enough, you're gonna hit... A forest in France, you go find this castle, right? Well, Knock on the door, let yourself in, sit down in the big red chair. But you see, Papa can't stop because he's a rolling stone. <laughs> they roll a stone, don't gather no bugs. <laughs> nah, my stone's square. When I get famous, both of you can write a book called actual shit that I've said and heard Niles say. I thought we were just gonna well, stick Palmer, the transcripts of all of our text messages into a voice translating program. Exactly. Why would it be voice translating if it's a book? No, it's like it's gonna read it out loud. <laughs> the future of books. Not a book. This is gonna be a movie. This is gonna be like an hour movie. People are gonna gonna be like hooked up to life support and catheters for the length of the film. The the dumbest stoner idea I've ever had was a feature length film where the main character goes blind in the first five minutes, and then the audience sits in the dark listening to an audio story for two and a half hours until the ending scene where his sight comes back. And I was convinced it was the best idea ever. Honestly, I guess I still think that could work in the right odd for like the right audience. Yeah, not in a theater though. Like well, it could work as an experimental made, YouTube thing, maybe. They've made a video game where literally 
you can't see anything. Um, the only way you can navigate is because your character is guided by his daughter, and she kind of gives you uh, sound cues to do things. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. I don't know how well it did, but it's really... He was trying to be a little bit Nicolas Cage there, I think. What did you, say? you see, if the Constitution, if you look at the back of the oh, dollar bill's just reflection, his dollar bill's reflection in the mirror on the back side of the Lincoln Memorial at 2.30 in the afternoon before daylight savings. I'm more of a treasure protector. You'll find my lost car keys. The only thing I want to see more than Jeff Goldblum as Ichabod Crane is Nicolas Cage as Ichabod Crane. <laughs> <laughs> as Nicholas Cage, as Jeff Goldblum, as a fun game. Um, uh. um, <laughs> I think that's a headless horseman. Because it's a horseman, but he doesn't have a head. Has there ever been a movie with both the minute? Googling it now. <laughs> it's like it both just go, um. <laughs> that's all I need. Uh, um. The treasure. The treasure. The treasure, Dad. Your daughter is the treasure dad, and I'm calling you dad now. When will you, <laughs> you die so I can like have your money? <laughs> didn't sound like him when you said, uh, but then you did. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas <laughs> Cage. No, just remake The Sorcerer's Apprentice and make Jeff Goldblum Jesse Eisenberg. I have a rage. Someone needs to put me in Nicholas Cage. <laughs> I meant to say in a Nicholas Cage, <laughs> no. but you know no. what? <laughs> you have a rage. Somebody's to put you in Nicholas Cage. Is that the end? No Are one died. What? What? Are really? you fu? Well, ladies and gentlemen, happy Halloween! <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, watching. Well, how'd you like it, Gary? Thanks. Will. I liked it. Short story. <laughs> I read most of the short story. <laughs> kind of what do you think of the love story? Yeah, I hate that mushy stuff with people slobbering all over each other. Yeah, I'm with you. All you get out of that kissing <laughs> stuff is chaplain. Okay. <laughs> well, see you guys uh, later. Goodbye. Happy Halloween. Say happy Halloween, everybody. See us in a place. Don't do it. Happy Halloween, everybody.